You are watching TFI. Greetings. Salutations. Welcome to TFI for the conclusion to Infusion Challenge number two, the Triangle of Doom. Thank you so much to everyone who entered this one. Had an absolute tsunami of entrance over the course of the month with me absolutely pricking it in the first few days because nearly everyone was getting it right. But I think that was because the, the alien superhuman modelers were having a bash at it straight off the bat and they all got it right. Uh, but it balanced out over the course of the month, roughly 50-50 right to wrong. Neil, can you just tell with the answers and stop me waffling? Fair enough, fair enough. So here the part is in all its glory. Uh, that's the derived part. There's the original feature tree. More on that later. Uh, but take a look at the properties. What were the answers made? The mass doesn't really matter. I don't even think I need that anymore from it. If you've got the area and the volume right, then it kind of goes without saying the mass is going to be pretty accurate. Uh, it's 4270.423 for the area with 2200.119 for the volume. If that's what you got, mate, congratulations. Your name is up on screen right now. There's far too many names here. Too many people got it right for us to call them out one by one. I'd be here all day doing it. It would have took me long enough just to copy and paste these names out of the emails and into the uh, the video editing software. So everyone here got it absolutely bob on as per my original eye properties. So I had a few emails from people saying I'm nearly there. I'm kind of nearly there. This, can you just count this as being right? No, mate, no, unfortunately, no, it's not a nearly there modeling competition. All of these names were absolutely bob on as per my properties. Here. Now then, as for how it was done, well, there's a bit of a story here, mate. There's a bit of a story. So this is my original model, and that's how I was going to remodel it for this video, the solutions video. But I then received an entry, and mate, we have... I'm actually genuinely intimidated by how clever some of the people are who watch my stuff. Genuinely intimidated, because I had an entrant by the name of Pietro Mogavero, Mogaver something like that, I'll put his name up on screen right now. Uh, and he did this in four features. Let, let that sink in for a second. Think how long it took you to do this, how complicated your model was, and then consider doing it in four features. I'm staggered, right? And I'm going to do that. I'm going to reproduce what he did. Uh, and I cannot even begin to take even the slightest bit of credit for it. And we're going to do this one in Inventor. Now, you can do the exact same workflow in Fusion 360. It's exactly the same, uh, almost click for click. So uh, I was going to, for, for the first challenge, I did it in both Inventor and Fusion. But the fact that it is exactly the same in both packages, I don't think I need to. So if you are a Fusion 360 viewer and you're watching this, you can pretty much follow this click for click. So... What you're gonna watch, mate, is you're gonna watch me drawing stuff. You're gonna watch me clicking stuff, but straight up, I have absolutely no clue why I'm drawing things, what I'm doing it for, and what it means. I'm not even joking. I have absolutely no idea why I'm doing these things, but this is just this is just how it is. So um, it, it, it must, it's math, I guess, is what it is, but <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it. I wish I did. But uh, I will. I would love to take credit for this as well. But I just, I just can't. I can't. I mean, I'm doing things. I'm, I'm, my fingers are moving. My arms are moving. And I, I don't know why I'm doing these things. Uh, but anyway, this must be some kind of. Uh, I don't know. If you're an engineer, maybe this means something to you. I wish I, I'm not an engineer, mate. But um, what is what is happening? What what even is this? I've done it so many. You've no idea how long as well it took me to even copy what he did. It's, uh, I don't know. And also, if if you did happen to do this in the same way, but I just didn't see it, then I, I do apologize. You put, it, put it in the comments, you know, if you did actually reproduce what I'm doing right now. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> doing that, I know that's gotta be constrained to there. And then we need a dimension between that in the center of this circle here, which is 20, and that should fully constrain it up. Just look, look at that. What what even have I just done? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's there. Anyway, right, we're going to finish that sketch, and then that's that's not even the first, that's not the first feature. That's just the the first base sketch. So we're going to sketch on this plane here, which lines up with the center of this circle, and we're going to knock out another uh, pentagon, roughly about there, and then put one of the dims on between there and there and that's going to be four no this that's the rot's the wrong dimension it needs to be an aligned dimension so there to there right click aligned 40 and then we're gonna constrain him up to there 
line the center up to there and then project through the center of that profile so that we can coincidentally bang that onto that and finish that right so then we're going to sweep this around that and then okay on that and then fill it all rounds by one mil you don't have to do this in fusion by the way when you're doing the inventor's got a, a funny bug here right just to, if you are following me uh invent yeah it's, it's is it a bug or not i don't know but if you were to click that and then that and go around all of these edges inventor puts a weird extra fillet on the back end of a couple of these phases i've no idea why it does that but it sort of mirrored the fillet on the inside of these uh, on these profiles fusion doesn't do that uh, I have no idea why Inventor does that. So to get around that, you do all rounds, and then it it doesn't do that. So yeah, I mentioned that just in case you decide to try and follow me and you're, you're struggling and it's uh, not making any sense. It still doesn't make any sense. Right, so we're going to share out that sketch, and then I'm going to knock an axis down on that, and then circular pattern uh, the whole thing around that new axis, and then make five. And... <laughs> I mean, what's happening? What's happening? And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do the same thing around that axis. We're gonna make five of the maintenance. That's it. That's, I'm not even joking. <laughs> that is it. I mean, I, I'm not gonna bother setting it to plastic. <laughs> it's uh, four two seventy point four two three two two one one. Oh, mate, I can't even begin to understand how Pietro figured this out and did that so in contrast mate in contrast uh, let's take a look at my original model and look at my ridiculous feature tree uh yeah the workflow that i went through to create the original model is nothing short of an absolute cluster fork in comparison to what uh, pietro came up with so the way i did it was by creating uh, and I'd actually previously done a video on my channel, which I'd made private prior to uh, making the challenge go live, which I'll re-enable and put a card up here. It involves creating an absolute stack of work planes, which are all patterned around, uh, created using sort of point to point around two pentagons, and then sculpting them all together, and then creating the, uh, the these frames, and then patterning the frames, and then after that actually happens, <laughs> you end up with this weird sort of arrangement going on in every single joint and I had to go and delete every one of these faces, heal them up and then do that on every single goddamn joint and then fillet it and, and, and then yeah so I do feel a little bit dumb <laughs> but well done Pietro for coming up with that in four features very unlikely anyone's going to come up with anything better if you have by all means let me know and I'll see if I can dig your file up that you sent through yeah, that's Infusion number two, the Triangle of Doom, made to look very easy by someone who's far more intelligent than I could ever be. And the, the workflow is exactly the same as well in Fusion 360, almost click for click. Some of the commands, like creating a uh, polygon, is slightly different, but it's pretty much identical, the exact same steps to follow. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's Infusion Challenge number two concluded. Congratulations to everyone who got it right. Infusion challenge number three coming up in the next couple of days. Stakes are being raised, mate. It's getting a whole lot more difficult. Model's done. Video is almost ready. And that'll be coming up on the channel very soon. Stay subscribed. I'll get subscribed if you're not already uh, for that one. And I'll see you in that one. Doodles.